Hello students, today I am going to explain list tags in HTML. Sometimes we need to arrange the data items in some specific order and therefore we need to number each them. So let's start. HTML supports various elements or tags to create list for displaying items in a specific order. A list can be defined in different styles. We can either add a number or a bullet each item to make them more organized. So there are two types of list tags in HTML. First, order list means OL tag. And second, unorder list means UL tag. So before going to explain OL and UL, you should know about LI tag. That is list items. We can display the listed items in an ordered and unordered list by using li tag. The li tag is an empty element or tag, means that does not require a closing tag. For example, to make an uh, order list or unordered list, type ol or ul for the list. Write the li means list items tag before every individual item. At the end, the entire list type slash ol or slash ul because order list and unordered list both are container tag. That's why we have to close this, this tags with slash. Order list means ol tag. This tag is used when the items are to be placed in a specific order. Default order is determined by the browser. but the style can be changed by using the attribute type. This is the syntax of OL tag. This start and type both are attributes of OL tag. Okay. By default, when you give OL tag without this attribute, the list item can be shown 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. But if you want to change your list item numbers, suppose you want capital alphabets, so that time you have to type capital A within double quotes. Suppose you want small a, b, c, d. That time you have to type small a within double quote. Sometimes we need upper roman. That time we need upper roman within double quote. And sometimes we need small roman. That time we need use small i within double quote. This is the start value. Okay, suppose you have start your uh, order list from 1 to 3. Then you want to insert an image. Then after that you start your uh, tags start from 3, 4, 5. So that time you use start attribute. Okay. Then attributes of the OL tag. Start is a attribute of OL tag and type also. So start equal here you have to type value. So this attribute indicates the starting number for the list. The number must be positive integer. Okay. Then type you already explained you want start from capital A. You to type this if you want small capital small a that that time you have to type this if you want upper roman that time you have to type this and if you want small roman that time you have to use this and by default one always comes so no need to type one okay this attribute defines the type of numbering sequence used for each list item so here there are five types so capital a that is upper alphabet you can see what is the style here small Small a means lower alphabet. Then this is the upper Roman. Then this is the lower Roman. This is the one two three. Now unordered list. Unordered list means UL tag. So bullets are the most efficient way of presenting the information in a precise manner. This tag displays a bulleted list. It is used when the items are not to be placed in a specific order. To change the bullet style. Type attribute can be used. Okay, only one attribute here that is only type here. So ul space type equal. You can type circle within double quote if you want circle. If you want disk, so you can type disk. If you want square, so that time you have to type square within double quotes. Li tags you must use for each and every individual item. 
okay then you have to use slash ul so this is the attribute of ul type type this attribute defines the type of bullet used for each list item the three values that can be defined with ul tag are first disk circle and square so you can see this is the disk this is the circle and this is the square the disk means a solid round bullet circle means a hollow bullet square means square solid bullet then nested list okay, this is required when a list has a sublist okay for example when the output is required in the following order like this one introduction then second window inside one you can use bullets like computer definition ram rom your cycle and inside window you can use another bullet that is desktop icon bullets folders okay so one and two it means this is order list and this is the bullet it means an order list and uh, there are few tags which work in the similar ways as that of the ul tag they are dir means directory tag and the manu tag so both are working just like ul tag the so dir tag in the sum browser will create a list similar to ul but in narrow columns and is usually used to list the contents of a directory the manu tag is suitable for listing url okay, now i'm going to explain practically first just you open your notepad window i already typed basic structure of html coding here so this is the basic structure of html coding start from html tag then close from slash html tag then in between html tag you have to use head tag and body tag in between head tag you can give your title of your web page okay. so let's start first suppose we want to give any heading first then we will start ol tag so you just type your any heading just like a teaching strategy so here you use first ol tag then you use this tag so this tag you have to use again and again before every item that's why i'm copying here At last, we have to close slash well. First, you type whatever you want. First, uh, I'm giving your engage teaching strategy. First, engage. Then, next, explore. Then, next, explain. Elaborate. The next uh, task that is evaluate. Now just save your file. It's save my file on my desktop. And uh, my file name is student. Just remember, student, you have to save your file with dot html. Like a extension of HTML, okay. it is compulsory. So when you click on save, okay, now you can see desktop the student icon is uh, visible now. This icon is similar to Google Chrome. So when we double click here, so this is the output. See our coding and this is our output so you can see here the font size is very small by default when we give only ol tag the so numbers will come from one two three four okay so if you want to change the font size then you have to use your font tag with font size attribute well you can type here 12 Okay. And because font tag that is a container tag that is why we have to close this tag slash 
okay, now you can see coding is completed so you just save your file with control plus as here just move and press f5 button so now you can see font size increase now here uh, left side there is no margin so that's why we are using here left margin attribute body tag okay. so this is the 100 means 100 pixels gap will be come here you just save your files uh, control plus s and here you just press and now you can see the left margin means down now it is 100 pixels gap here so if you want to change font color also you can give color attribute here the spelling should be color c o l o r and uh, whatever you want color give you just press f5 see the font size color is blue now this is heading so you should give your bold tag the u tag that is bold and underline these are also container type tag that's why we have to close this tag with slash just see this teaching strategy now comes with bold and underline now you don't want this three numbering if you want alphabets so that time you use type attribute here if you want a uh, upper alphabet that time you type here capital a within double quote you just save your file and here you just press f5 so you can see if you want a uh, small alphabet you just type small alphabet just give your file and here you just press f5 you want your upper roman number and you just use a roman where you save your file and here you press f5 you can see these are the roman numbers upper roman and if you want small roman lower roman that time you use this small i here you just press f5 now you can see what is the changes here now suppose uh, you have uh, started your order list from 1 to 3 and in between 3 and 4 you want to insert image tag that time you have to start again uh, your numbering from 4 so that time you use start attribute okay. start want from start from 4 so that time you use this start attribute when you give here you can see now it is start from four five six seven eight you will give here eight save then press f5 now it is eight nine ten press two right so now i'm going to explain you will tap that is unorder list so some bullets comes here So here again we have to use li tag that is list tag just copy and paste at last you have to close your ul tag with slash ul again just like this teaching strategy to give here also one headache that's why here I'm using uh, good qualities of students if you are a student you should know what are the good qualities of a student so first quality I'm going to write here academic skills then attitude then ability and 
और सिप्टेंस then self discipline is must for each and every student so you see what is it? you just save your file here and here you go and press f5 let's see qualities of a student academic skills by default this uh, bullets comes okay this is solid circle if you want hollow circle that time you use this type attribute type only circle with a double quote just save press f5 so you can see now it is hollow circle if you want solid square here that time you have to type spelling of square here save your file so you just press f So you want to change here something in bold or underline because it is already heading. So heading should be come with bold letters and underline. So here you just put slash b then slash u. Uh, see what is the output now. Okay. Now I want to change here my font colors so again i have to use font tag with font color with red so this is also container tag that's why we have to close here already close so here i have to close font so here means upper ol tag it comes with the blue color font size this is a font size. and here i closed font tag with slash then again and started font color red and here font slash font so it means the order list tags will come with blue color and unorder list tags will come with, with red color so let's see save your file here and just you can see this is a red color i uh, here already closed font that's why font size also reduce here so here again i have to type 12 and save then now you can see okay you want background color any other color rather than white you just type on the bg color Just save your file and here you press F5. You can see what is the output here. Okay, so this is the order list and this is the unordered list. If you want use mark you tag here, so you can use your mark you tag. Students, you know that mark you tag is used for when we want to move our background text. So that time we use this mark you tag. This is also a container tag. That's why we also close this tag. Just see what is the output now. Staging strategy is heading. Moving. Here also you can give RQ tag. If you want. If you don't want, you, you don't give. If you want, so that time you can give. I like this tag that's why I'm showing you here. here also you can see you can see things are moving strategies and good qualities of a student thank you student thank you for watching my video thank you